Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Today we have an outdoor smart plug. That's right, this is an outdoor smart plug from Tekken. It's the SS31. It is an IP44 rated um, for water. So we're going to open this box. We're going to see what's inside. We're going to check this puppy out. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we check out the Tekken SS31 s31 ip rated for outdoors that's right it can get wet okay people now it's time for another edition of what's in the box what's in the box what's in the box we have the tekken outdoor smart outlet ss31 app control wi-fi voice control and set timers waterproof rating ip44 Cue the music, Phil. Have an instruction manual. Have the outlet itself. Let's look at this puppy. Now that's a nice heavy duty cord properly sealed all the way around it appears. A place where you can mount it with a screw with covers on it. That's awesome looking. And those seal up the plug when there's not a plug in there. We have a sticker on the front. IP44 waterproofing is. We'll look at the definition on that. There's a button on the front. There is either an LED or an IR control here. Or a day night feature. It's hard to say. It's kind of light. But it doesn't feel bad. It appears the case is put together well. This is a really nice kit cord here. I mean, it's super thick. Something that you would expect for the outside. And uh, looks like it works with Smart Life. So here we go. We're going to hook this puppy up and we're going to see how it works. This is the Tekken SS31 outdoor smart outlet okay so now we have the tekken outdoor um smart socket uh it's got a really good feel to it i mean the box is a little bit light the cord is phenomenal and these little guys you open it up this way or you open it this way or you take it completely off and that's kind of cool I was kind of expecting it to have something that kept these in the middle, but there isn't. So if you are just using one plug, of course, you would just do that and it would be good. If you're using both of them at the same time, then you take it off and store it someplace in the house or possibly tape it to the back. That's what I would do. But we're only going to use one right now because we're going to try to hook this puppy up to the Smart Life app. So here we go. And right now we have kind of a blue green light here. So let's open up Smart Life. All right, here's Smart Life. So once the Smart Life app is open, you hit the plus sign and then you're going to look for a socket, Wi-Fi socket. And we have to make this guy blink rapidly. So we're gonna hold it down to one, two, three, four, five. And see if that will get it to blink rapidly. It's now blinking a green light rapidly. That's right. So we're going to say okay. And we are going to hook it up to our Wi Fi, which is the Bat Cave. And we're going to search for it. Now, this is the first time I've hooked something up to my new router. 
which I should probably do the video on because it's so far been an excellent router as opposed to my old Netgear. So we'll see how this works. The light has stopped flashing and we're about 26%. smart plug installed uh, we just have to do some finishing up here it says out smart outdoor plug uh, we are going to call it smart outdoor plug we're going to keep it that way we're going to say it's outside and we're going to hit done so now we have the smart outdoor plug hooked up to the smart life app okay so now that we got it installed into the application let's take a look at what it does okay um, the first thing is you have an on and off switch for each of the sockets right here one two sockets on and off there we go uh, inside there we also have a countdown timer that we can set to cut down by hours and minutes it looks like you can go as long as 23 hours and 59 minutes and that's cool so we're going to back out here and then it looks like you had to add a timer where you can add a timer for each switch to turn on at a particular time and then you can set one up to turn it off at a particular time that's very cool let's get a ramp up here let's see if we can get this puppy to work so we're going to look for the first one and on the front of the Tekken outdoor plug it says switch one and switch two so we're going to put it into switch one right here and which is on now from there I'm going to move this out of my viewpoint because it's really bright in my eye we can hit the button to turn off the switch and it turns off. We can hit the button to turn on the switch and it turns on. That's very cool. We have an all on and an all off. So by hitting that button, we can turn all of the switches off and on at the same time. But we're only using the one, so there's no reason to do so. Alexa, turn on smart outdoor plug. Okay. And Alexa turns on the smart outdoor plug. She didn't even really need to discover it. Alexa, turn off smart outdoor plug. Okay. And she turns it off. So not only can you control it via schedules and it would be a great thing for uh, outdoor lights, but you can also control it with the Amazon Echo. And then you can put further uses to it with the IFTT feature um, and that's cool so let's do some weather testing on it the only way I know how to do weather testing is to squirt a hose at it all right we're going to test out the Tekken for the outdoors right here we're going to put it in that socket because my wife likes Christmas lights up crawl year long that's right she likes the lights to be around the door uh, we always had some type of debate on that too. Do we do warm white or soft white? The kind of whiter light, the blue one. And she's going to win out because I got these for 89 cents at Wally World. So we're going to do these around the door. The other ones were incandescent. We're going to warm LED lights. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to use the tech and the control so I can turn them on at about 6 o'clock and turn them off at midnight. I'm going to turn them on around 3.30 a.m. when I get home, so it will light up. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get the tech in, in there, and then we'll do a water torture test. Water torture test. All right, so now i got my wife's happy Christmas lights up. That's right. Um, she likes lights around the doorway, so now we have them hooked up to the Tekken Outdoor Plug. And then we'll just go into it and then we'll turn them on. 
And now she has warm light to line the frame of the door and she likes that very much. So happy wife, happy life. But I notice as I'm doing all this, there's old Christmas stuff and everything in the way. So the Tekken is now currently right there. And I'm gonna take the hose and we're gonna clean this off. Let's move the rug out of the way. My wife's idea. Hooray, you're here. See? So now we got to test out the Tekken Outdoor Smart Plug. What are my overall thoughts? I really wish I would have had this around Christmas time. Uh, that would have been cool because I could have turned on my lights the way I wanted to turn them on. Uh, and that's effortlessly with this plug. In other words, I could have set up a schedule and that would have done what I wanted to do. Uh, but using this would have given me the ability not to have to turn it on and off in another inconvenient way. This would have been very convenient to use. The overall construction, I can tell you this cord feels awesome right here. Um, I like that the fact that it's not a cord where it plugs in this way and you have this big bulky uh, plug that you would be doing this way. This plug is pretty thin. I mean, it's not super thin here, but it's definitely easier to plug it into the wall this way than it would be with the standard plug, such as that's attached. The overall box feature, it doesn't feel very heavy, so the tech in it is probably not very, uh, much more than having two smart plugs, really and truly. But the functionality, the button on the front is very convenient. The little shell uh, eyeball here that shows you the LED lights, that's very convenient. It tells you what it's doing. These little guys protect the plug when you're not using them. Um, so if you're not using both plugs, you leave one plugged in and then you would plug in your device. Um, if you have two devices plugged in, you take this away. I personally would probably just zip tie it around the cord so I wouldn't lose it. Other than that, the functionality with the Smart Life app is top notch like you would anticipate and functionality with the Amazon Echo product is very cool. So if you're looking for an outdoor plug that you can use your Amazon Alexa device with, I would check out the Tekken SS31. That's right, the SS31, this guy right here. So this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. And I will see you soon. Overall, go to sleep more. Please like and subscribe to the channel.